Thank you, Member of uh, Parliament, Yanchi Leonard. Minister Ernie Francis. Good day, Members of Parliament, and thank you, MP Leonard, for your congratulations on Women's International Day. I have sat and listened very intently to all that's been discussed, and I realize that we're all saying the same thing. I don't know if you realize it, but every person that I've listened to is basically saying the same thing. God has given to each one of us choice, and we have that choice to make the decisions for our own lives, and everyone respects that. At the same time, we're also hearing that as a nation, we have values, we have mores that we have established for our land, and those who are coming in have a right as well to respect that. And I remember listening intently to M. Peter Weaver, and he mentioned something which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was hearing the undertone of, yes, we are just a small island in the midst of huge Europe, the Netherlands and so many other countries that have already taken a stand on some of the issues that we've discussed. How can we fit into all of this? But I'm here really to say that in any sentence that you have, you can have a whole run on, run on, run on, but without a dot, you don't know where that sentence ends. And St. Martin is a small dot, but the value and the strength that is represented here in this island is through its people. And I think one of the problems that we've had over the years, and it's something that I have observed, not only me, but many others, is that very often we lack the courage necessary to take certain stands as a community. And I also hear Dr. Richardson because I am the church, I am part of the church, and I've always been very vocal from a young age. And I'll be one of the first persons to tell you that there are times that I felt the church did not do certain things that needed to be done. They contend with me all the time. But the point is that we are at a pivotal point in our history and the decisions that we make today will, be, will determine where we are tomorrow. And so I think this is a great day for all of us as a community. It's the eighth day of March, eighth the number for new beginnings. And I believe that if we come with the attitude and the mindset that God is creating an opportunity for us to shape our nation, and mold it in a way that will be pleasing to him, and as a result, benefit the entire community and the world, I think we will be in a very good position. And as Pastor Smith had mentioned, the project, it's a, it's a vision that God had given to me back in 2006, which I've never let go, and is currently in its phase of development called the Oasis. And St. Martin is strategically positioned in the Caribbean to make a significant impact. But we have to take our eyes off of ourselves, and we have to, to, to seek God's face as to how we can move forward. And the plans are there, but we have to work together. And so I'm going to close by saying I would like all of us to look at this time as a great opportunity an opportunity that we all have been placed here for such a time as this to make a significant impact, not only for the people of St. Martin, but for the region and the world. And I dare say that if we miss this opportunity, our generations to come will be very ashamed of us and will hold us responsible for not taking the nation 
in our hands that God has gifted us at this time to make the right decision. So I hope from here on out that we'll be working together cohesively to collaborate and to make a significant difference in our island. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Adam Francis. Minister Allen. Thank you again, Mr. Chair. Uh, I join with Minister Ernemi, and I'm saying today is a really special day, really good day. Um, MP Richardson, I tried hard not to say amen as you spoke. Really, try. amen, amen. <laughs> I, I, I believe that what Minister Ernemi just said is so important. All of us are saying the same things. Just a few quick points. I don't think any of us on this side <laughs> came here expecting that the parliament, you are going to be able to say, okay, we're going to do this, do that, do that, do that. That was not our intention at all. It may seem as though that our main discussion is the gay coups. It is not the only one. As we have already established, there are so many other ills in our society. We realize that if we would have left these tables here today and not been able to come to some very concrete decisions, decisions about the way forward, decisions about when will we meet again, and who will we meet with? And how will we go forward? Not to crush anyone, not to despise anyone, but to ensure that our nation, ensure that our youths of today, who will be the parliamentarians and the pastors and the spiritual leaders of tomorrow, that we leave something worthwhile for them. And so I, I hope Mr. Chair, that uh, as we come to a close, which I believe we are coming to, that we will be able to have some firm decisions or views. When will we be back here again? When will we meet again to further discuss some of the things that each and every one of us have mentioned? We did not come here either, I must say. Um, when we spoke about the gay ship and different things has been saying and the amount of people who are coming on the ship, yes, it is overwhelming and everything. We know that the government has spent money and we know that our government may not be able to just pick up the phone and say to the ship, no, you can't come, because then you will find yourself at the other end probably of a lawsuit. We are quite aware of those things. What I believe that we are saying we are asking you, please, please, let's work together and put policies in place. Let's work together and say to our nation, say to those who would wish to come to this beautiful island, this friendly island, we welcome you. But please respect our policies. Respect who we are. Respect what we stand for. And we are asking you, the Parliament, to give us that opportunity to work with you. Give us the opportunity to sit with you and to discuss. We are not here to bash the Parliament at no time. Nor the gays. We are not here to bash even the violent ones. But we want to work together. Yesterday, we sat in a meeting and we spent some time before God asking him for direction to this meeting. There was a burden in our hearts over the last four, four weeks, three weeks. We have seen such a terrible something about four rapes, four homicides, four motorcycle deaths. I cannot openly say that it is because of the, the, the ship that visit, maybe. But 
if it is we want to stop we want to see our nation we want to see our young people become something let us work together let us not allow this day to pass again like those in 2007 in 2003 Pastor Smith, and whenever else 2009 because we will be writing to you again we will be coming back and we will be making presentations we will be presenting to you so ways that we can go forward as a team working together thank you thank you apostle allen at this time we give the floor to Mempi, minister of parliament illich thank you um, mr chair i would just like to say my last words and um Taylor back in on what you just said, um, Pastor. Um, I think the message we want to send, as you say, we are a country that understands and that embraces everyone. But most important, what our laws and our policies must be respected. We are a nation of, we involve everyone, we respect everyone. And our mainstay, again, I will say, is tourism. But it must be noted that even those uh, five thousands, whoever they gather, whoever they may be, they too are welcome at our shores with one important factor, that they respect our policies. And that is what I meant earlier when I said, technically, we will get busy because we are open to everyone. And I believe I'm also a God-fearing person and coming from a home that we were raised in a Christian environment. I do understand the word of God, but I also represent the people of this community which we have when we represent we must represent based on policies not just today we're going to do this and tomorrow we're going to do that but based on set policies it must be worldwide known that in St. Martin you may come but these are the things that we condone and that is just what I wanted to end on that note and I do agree that we are all on the same page and that together we must promote this as well. We must hear that from the churches. There is nothing wrong with whoever may want to come to St. Martin. But you must abide under the policies and rules that we will set for our people. I thank you. Thank you, Minister of Parliament Illich. Minister of Parliament, Franz Richardson. Thank you, um, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I would like to welcome the community, the church community, here this morning. I know my colleague was mentioned, Mr. Richardson, MP Richardson, all the time by wondering it was me, but it was not. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, <laughs> I I was a sort of trying to get my grasp of this meeting um, because when this meeting was called it was called by this committee tourism economic affairs and transportation telecommunication and the discussion um, basically mostly deviated away from this committee's reach to be honest with you speaking frankly to you yes um, some of the things discussed here concerning tourism was one, how do we deal with the issue of this ship with a name coming to this island where they sell the ship as a gay cruise? One, um, I would have loved to heard that how could we as members of parliament and the clergy sit with the cruise line on how we could best deal with that issue where that standpoint of the name because that was the issue of how could we deal with that um, name